A colleague recently asked me, Obi, how do you establish a connection with the patient from the onset? And it got me to think, what did I used to do when I was in practice? And it was very, very simple. Something came to mind. I used to find common ground with the person. And I did that by asking the person from the onset, what language would they prefer me to speak to them? And you'll be very surprised at how comfortable people start to become when you ask them that question. So I'm a Zona speaking individual, working predominantly in practices that were speaking English, obviously. And a Zulu speaking person will come, because I, I will know that they're Zulu from the surname that I'm, I'm seeing on their farm. And I will first greet them uh, in their language, if I can uh, quickly identify that that is the language that they speak. And I will introduce myself in English. And I will immediately ask them, Sir, ma'am, what language of choice would you actually prefer me to speak to you with today? The reason why I'm asking you that question is that I can see that you're Zulu speaking. Uh, but my level of Zulu is limited to me being able to understand Zulu. But when I speak it, I'm not as confident, competent as I would like to be. But if you are comfortable speaking Zulu, you are more than welcome. And I'll, in actual fact, I will appreciate that because it will help me to learn. And where I don't understand, I will ask you for more clarity in English or any other language for that matter that I'm more comfortable with so that I can be able to understand the problem that you are having so that I'll be in a position to better assist you. When you do that, the patient that you're communicating in that manner with becomes relaxed, looks at you and like, hmm, this person is actually interested. This person is coming down to my level or up to my level. And so that's how you find that connection from the onset. Speak, or at least try to speak the language that the person that you are helping is speaking. Your question would be, Obi, I'm not going to be able to learn five different languages. You are absolutely correct. But you are able to learn of, you, you, by now, if you've been working in a particular practice for a certain period in time, you get to establish a pattern that you're seeing Afrikaans, English, Zulu, and Zwana speaking people predominantly Zulu and English or Zulu and Afrikaans, whatever the case may be, there is that top two or top three. Learn the introduction. Learn the introduction. Nothing is stopping you from being able to learn the introduction of, hello, how are you? I am so-and-so and, -so, and who might you be? So if you know the introduction in the different languages, then you quickly establish and inform that individual your level of understanding of speaking that particular language and you find common ground. And that is how you establish a connection because it automatically puts that person at ease that as you go on with the rest of the routines, the communication, the barrier will not be there because you've already set the ground rules right from the start. So you want to build a connection in an optometry practice with your patients? Be able to communicate with them in the language of their choice. If you are not able to speak the language of their choice, let them know that they are more than welcome to speak it. And if you are able to understand it, great. But if you're not able to understand it, then speak the language that you both will be able to communicate with it. How many times do you do this? With every single patient. I was, I'm, oh, I'm Zwana speaking. I do the same thing with a Zulu speaking individual. I do the same thing with a Kosa speaking person, an Afrikaans speaking person. I don't just automatically make the assumption that that person will speak the language that I'm speaking. Why? This person is coming for a service to, uh, for, to us, right? However, we want to make the sale. We want to be in a position where we know that we have given this person the best possible management solution that they need pertaining to their vision. And at the end of the day, we are in a retail environment. So there's a fine line that you have to be able to, to bridge uh, when it comes to such things. Remember, optometry has three components to it. it has got the academic component, has got the clinical component and it's got the business component or it put it in a different way it's got the educational component it's got the health component and it's got the sales component and so all three need to work cohesively with one another every single time and you do that by educating the people performing all the clinical routines that you, uh, procedures that you need to do but once you all of that is done you then have to operate on the sales side of things and if you do not establish that connection from the onset and even if you come up with the correct management solution from that person, because you did not establish that connection that has the potential of leading to trust being established from the onset, 
when you tell this person at the end of that one hour examination that they need this because this is the problem there was a communication barrier that would have taken place from the onset between yourself and the patient so you establishing a connection is to help you prevent any form of communication barriers that might exist between yourself and them so that's what our strategy was when i was in practice and we do that a lot with various practices that we work with week in week out we help train the staff on building and establishing a connection with every single patient and learn 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 and here's the thing the information that you are communicating to patients from the onset becomes the same it's very rare cases where you sharing different type of information to every single patient so after a while the information becomes the same it is your responsibility as the african speaking individual as the zulu speaking individual as the sesotho speaking individual to learn this which you say and communicate on a day-to-day -day basis what is it when it's been communicated in a different language and where are the barriers that might exist in this particular communication that i'm having between the patient and myself if you are able to find a connection your communication will be better your competency levels will be better your confidence is definitely going to be better and you'll be able to see better results simply because you are communicating at the level at which will produce the most desirable results for both you and the patient so remember be quick to establish that connection you do that via the language that you speak hope you enjoyed that short session or i guess it was a bit long but uh, we're going to run this series with different examples every single time so hope that you enjoy it